All right, Shalom, Shalom. Real Hebrew Israelites coming in week in, week out to prophesy the downfall of America and the society. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to my power, Yahweh, Bashim, El Shah, Bashim, Kakodash. Double honor to my elders and apostles, getting no stone, who were well and teach well, being good as I'm a touch on brothers. And peace and blessed of all for the I'm part of that number. I'm the brother Kodar from the GMS Ben Chicago. Come back another video. This video is going to be entitled, um, not predisposed to lock him. Um, uh, the predestined to serve the Lord. All right. All right. Uh, this Ephesians 1 and 5 is going to be a quick hit. Uh, let's get it real quick. All right. Ephesians 1 and 5. Having predestined, should I read up? Yep, uh, 1 and 4. According as he have chosen us in him before the foundation of the world. All right, it's talking about the elect. That we should be holy and without blame before him in love. Having predestined us unto the adoption of children by Yahweh Shai Mashiach to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will. All right? So the elect was uh, predestined to be delivered, man. You know, to, to, uh, to be under the Lord. All right, and it was it is uh it's predestined for us to go out. Well, not well. I'm Salakia. I'm gonna rephrase that. All right, for the elect. All right, because I hope to be of that number. Because the scriptures say we dare not uh, make ourselves of that number. Because we not uh we not sure if we gonna be saved. All right, the scriptures say work out your own salvation with fear and tremor. But nevertheless, the elect is predestined to be saved, man. You know we understand that the elect is among us. You know, Lord willing, we of that number. All right, this is uh, John 15 and 16. You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. All right, so the Lord chose us. All right, and you can't escape that. Hey, look at Jonah. All right, he was swallowed up by a big fish. Look at Jeremiah. All right, he said it was like a fire burning inside me. He couldn't hold it back. You know, Job as well. He couldn't hold uh, back, man. You know, same thing. What else? We can't keep it back. It, it has to come out. It's just a part of us, man. You know, we we think about the Lord 24-7. All right? And ordain you that you should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain, that whatsoever. Right, it says ordain you that you should go bring forth fruit. You know, uh, the scriptures say, we sh ye shall be known by your fruit, our works, man. All right? And that your fruit should remain, that whatsoever you shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it to you. All right? So the Lord chose us from the beginning, man, of teach. All right, the scriptures say the, the, the spirit of the prophets. Uh, spirit. Prophets. Like First Corinthians 14 and 32. And the spirit of the prophets are subject to the prophets. All right. So uh, it's just, it, that's plain. If you was a prophet in your past life, you're going to be a prophet in this life, man. All right. You know, ain't no breaks. This is our, hey, this is our lot. All right, this is our office. All right, you know, hey, this ain't a game. This is, uh, let me get this precept. Say in Second Ezra, nine eight, just to prove the point that hey, we was uh, uh, um, as it says, sanctified from the beginning. All right. Uh. I'm going to start at verse 7. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed, man. So you you say by your works and your faith, man. You know, you have faith in the Lord and you show that by your works. All right? Uh, yeah. Shall be preserved from the... So I'm read over. Everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed, shall be preserved. Preserved from said perils, and, and peril means a uh, great danger, you know, because the evils that's coming, and the word evil means bad times, nothing but bad times is coming to the whole world. And shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders, for I have sanctified them from me, for me, from the beginning. All right, <laughs> hey, that's heavy, man. All right, and uh, verse 9 is really good as well. Yeah, I was going into something else, but it's all good. These uh wit niggas. This is uh, Jeremiah 1 and 5.
Before I had formed thee in thy in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou comest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. Didn't it just say that? You know, so the Lord said he knew us, man. You know? I'm going to read it again. This is heavy. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. And I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Let's get that definition of thee. It says, um, ordain, ordain. It says, make someone a priest or minister, minister, confer holy uh, orders on, man. All right, and as a matter of fact, I can just go to the BLB. To that word ordain. I sanctify thee and ordain. All right. The word is uh, the Hebrew word Nathan. All right. Nathan. It says to give, put, set. Okay. To give, bestow, grant, permit. Okay. <laughs> hey, so it, it was designed that way. All right, it says uh, definition two right here to put, set, put, uh, put upon, set, appoint, assign. Hold on, it's a lot, guys. Salaki, Aki. It's all good. Hold on, give me a minute. Gotta move out this parking spot. It's a uh, handicap, handicap parking spot. And that's actually the spirit, all right, because it says uh, 144 right here. But uh, uh, just to end out the video, it says to put, set, put on, put upon, set a point, assign, designate, all right? <laughs> hey, we were assigned to be the Lord's servants, man, all right? But I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to my power. Yahweh, Shema, Shabbat, Shem, Kadash, Shalom, and the Bible, Bible.